I'm going to show you how you can easily make hand calculations like these using free software. It's free, it'll impress your manager because your calculations look professional, and it's really easy to use. In fact, I'm just going to show you the three things that you need to know to start using this software right away. Hi, I'm Matt and I'm a structural engineer. Let's get into today's content. So the software that I'm using is PTC MathCAD Express. That is the free version of MathCAD. There is a paid version, but I don't even get into using that. So what is MathCAD? What is it basically? What is it? It's basically a software that allows you to input variables and it updates automatically. So let's say that's A and let's call this B. And if we go with C, let's say that's A plus B and it'll update everything automatically. So even if you update the variables, it will update the values and everything's in basically real time so it's really easy to follow so if you learn to get good at MathCAD which seriously it's not going to take you that long <laughs> you only need to know three things that I'll show you in a moment but you can produce calculations something like this where it's very easy to follow um, anyone reviewing your work such as your manager or if you're a student whoever's grading your homework whether it's your professor or a or a teacher's assistant it's a good way to impress them I mean giving them something like this they're gonna love you for it because it reduces the errors and no one likes reading other people's chicken scratch so they'll love you for it and it's a good way to impress them and like I said it it'll update the values for you so in case you ever need to go back you don't have to go back and erase a variable and then change everything else um, for example let's just say this component operating weight we're going to change that now it's, let's just say now it's a 25 kip component operating weight so this value is going to change if you were doing it by hand calculations you would have to update everything but if you just change this value you'll see that the FP value uh, updated also so it's a great way to update things if they're constantly changing or if you make a mistake so let's just put that back to 1.4 and you may say hey you can just use a an excel spreadsheet like a lot of engineers use and i i think there is a a time and a place for spreadsheets depending if you have a lot of data or whatnot but if you're doing something that you would do by hand calcs and you're doing it a lot and it's repetitive it's a lot easier to just see everything laid out here and it's a lot easier to follow unlike with a spreadsheet where people can modify it change the formulas and no one will know it's uh, that it's changed but over here you can clearly see if something has changed because it's going to update the, the values automatically so it's it's a really good teaching tool too so in case if you're in an office and you're trying to teach someone let's say mechanical unit anchorage and non-structural components I could just show them this and it pretty much teaches them um, what goes into it. Of course, I can teach them the concepts, but I mean, these are all the calcs that I'm exactly doing. So instead of just giving them a spreadsheet and they don't know what's going on, you can give them something like this. So it reduces the training time if you're in an office or if you're trying to teach somebody. So what are the three things that you need to know to just start off on, on MathCAD and just start producing calcs straight away? So I kind of already went over this, but the first thing that you need to know is if you're going to type in a variable, let's say A, instead of equal sign, equal sign doesn't work here. That's anytime you want to say equal, it's going to be colon in MathCAD. So whenever you want to do an equal sign, A equals 10, you're going to have to put the colon instead of t actually typing out the equal sign. So same thing with B, B colon and again all you have to do is you're just really just typing this out you can go a plus B and then this is when you would press the equal sign if you wanted to equal something or you can just do C colon sign a plus B then you would press equal to get the actual value so that's the first thing you need to know to start doing calculations the second thing you would need to know is control minus sign 
So let's say, because you're gonna, it's basically a subscript. I think if you go over here, you can probably find uh, the subscript here. So control minus sign. So that's, you can either press that. I think it does that. Oh, there we go. You can press subscript and X, but the, the fastest way that you can do that is just, you just go F, control minus sign P that basically subscripts for you uh, you can do I, I believe you can do a superscript too but I think in most of your engineering classes you're gonna just be using subscripts a lot so doing that that that's the, probably the second thing that I use the second most common is just using those the subscripts because you're gonna be using subscripts a lot another thing that's useful that you can use that are similar are, are using symbols so a lot of the time let's say we want to use um, a symbol you can use these are the shortcuts for it let's just say we want to use um, omega omega not you can just click that and then con control minus to subscript it let's just say you want to do omega not so you'll be using symbols a lot too if you want to get into that the third and last thing that you need to know is the control T function, which is basically switches you to text mode and it's basically just making a text box. So this is good for, this is more of an organizational thing. So let's say this is example one. This is just an example. And this is a text box, so you can format it similar to like in Word. So you can bold it, you can underline it. So this is good for basically organizing your calculations. And I use it a lot for um, for making a dummy variable, for a, not dummy variable, just making descriptions for the variables. So I'll usually make a variable and press Control T. And this is where I'll describe the variable. So you basically repeat that process and then you can just eventually make something like this. So this is the text box. This is the title. I copied and pasted these images from um, Bluebeam. You can use any other software program. So you would just copy it from Bluebeam and then just paste it into your your MathCAD worksheet so that's how you can get images in there you can just easily copy and paste images but if you keep going with this process like you can see here this is a text box you can, and this is just me explaining the description in text boxes while actually inputting in the variables another thing that's kind of cool sometimes I use it sometimes I don't because sometimes it messes up but it'll automatically input the, the units for you so let's just make a you can see that the in blue it already shows you the the units that it's using so just as an example I'm just gonna type that in again so you can see what I'm actually typing 1.4 and then all I just say is kips and you can see see that it's in blue same thing if I try to do it with Z, that is 18. And all I have to do is say feet. So once it's blue, you know that it's taking up units. So sometimes it bugs out if you're using weird units that it doesn't understand. But if you're just making things pretty simple like kips and feet, uh, that's actually pretty useful just because it will actually change the the variables for you like for example if I wanted this in pounds instead of kips you need to do LBF it doesn't really do pounds uh, just LB so you do need to use LBF for pounds so as you can see it'll actually change the variable to what you want it to be so that's actually a, a pretty cool function I don't use it all the time but uh, for simple things like this it, it definitely helps and it makes it look cleaner some other things that aren't too essential, but just so you can see what, what MathCAD can kind of do. It has a very basic if function 
for those of you that know some programming, it, it does have that, has like um, programming. This is just a trial version, so all of these are are blocked if you actually just get MathCAD Express. So if you get the full version, you can have access to all of these, but if you just have the Express version, a lot of those are going to be blocked. But you can still use the basic if function if you have the express version the free version so something like this just checking the upper limits checking the lower limits of a value it can do that and it also arranges the numerator and the denominator like this like if I'm just gonna recreate this one it will be F P and then I would just press the divide sign the backslash sign and it'll automatically do that so and then I just press control um, then I would just press shift eight to do the time sign, the, the asterisk. So that's how you can multiply things. So it's very easy. And it's very flexible. So that's, that's why I like it. So it makes everything nice and clean. Some other things that it can do in the free version, it can do a minimum. So it'll take the minimum of the value of B or W so even in the free version there are some um, some a little bit of programming built into it so it, it still actually helps but I know if you get the paid version it can do a lot of stuff like graphs and and functions so there's a lot of stuff in there if you actually want to pay for it but at least for me I just like to use it for simple hand calculations um, even stuff like this this is how I do my demand capacity ratios all the time and I just color it and the formatting just so I know to check it so this is like a simple if statement that if it's good and it's okay if it's not good it's NG and again over here this is just the text box that I bold to kind of just finalize what the design is and even pasted a detail from uh, from Bluebeam which is a markup software that a lot of structural engineering firms use the last thing that you may notice is the title block. You can mess around with it, but basically you can change the title block. This, all of this updates. I'm not going to get into it because you can just play around with it, kind of just like in Microsoft Word on how you uh, edit the headers, but it has that function too. So one out of three, two out of three. So it's, that's another way that it keeps everything pretty organized and, and easy to follow. Again, this is just a tool. I think it's very good for when you just want to replace simple hand calcs that you're going to be doing a lot. And it may not be good for where you have a lot of data. I think Excel is probably better or, or another type of software program. So I hope this helps. I'll provide the link to this software below in, ca in case um, you can't find it. But if, even if you just Google MathCAD Express, PTC MathCAD Express, you should be able to find the free software download link. If you like this video, make sure to press the like button and hit the subscribe button. If you didn't like it, hit the subscribe button anyway so you can dislike more of my videos. I'll see you next time.